What's up, mother truckers? Kobe 93 here with another exclusive dip fucking video for you motherfuckers. Um, today what we're gonna be dipping on today is some Copenhagen straight. Um, right now, as you can tell, I'm outside. I'm actually in my parking lot for my trailer park. Yeah, that's right. Kobe lives in a trailer park. Uh, I just got done spray painting my mower over there. I'm spray painting fucking black and um, spray painting black and fucking orange. Uh, that's what we got left in there. Let's put it in. Now this is actually the first actual video that I made outside with this laptop. Can's done. Alright, mother truckers. What's the sense of having an MOD of the day if I'm like, standing outside? Well, my MOD of the day is the ground. I've been wanting to make a video of my Copenhagen straight. I mean, I tried making one. I uploaded it, but you couldn't hear it. So, I hope you guys can hear this one, because if you can't hear this one, then I should just fucking stop making dip videos right now. And I'm sorry that my computer's being really jumpy. It's just that the computer's kind of sitting in the sun. It has been because I was over there listening to music. While I was spray painting my lawnmower. And... I gotta say, that fucking lawnmower is fucking looking good. We we'll probably need about another coat on it, but... Oh, no, that's alright. Ah, uh, Copenhagen straight. A gift from God, like I said in one of my other videos, it's a gift from God. It is like the best Copenhagen I've ever had before in my entire life besides Southern Blend and Winter Green. But the thing is that makes this different is it has more of a sweet tangy flavor. I'm starting to get gator gums again guys. But, best thing is about this here, out here, in the country, you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want, and get away with it. Which is pretty fucking sweet. But yeah, for any of you guys that don't know who Gator, what Gator Gums are, see this on a K9 right there? Yeah, see that? Now look at the other side. Show both. What it is is that your gums get really, really sore because of your chew. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of what else? A lot of people think that there is is I found this out because of an outlaw dipper video. Which thank you, outlaw, you're back. I love you. Um, point. Anyways, um, he said in his video, you know how um, there's a lot of people that think that they're fiberglass and chew. Well, mother truckers, there's not. There's not fiberglass and chew whatsoever. Usually, when you hold, open up your can and you hold it towards the sun, and it's like all oh, shiny and shit. And that is not because of fiberglass. Everybody thinks it is. It is not. What it is, is that the tobacco makers put cut up all the tobacco, put them in water for the flavoring, nicotine, you know what I'm saying? They added special ingredients, though. To get the pH levels correct, they have to add salt. Yes, salt. 
the more the better the pH level is, the better the nicotine is. The less the pH level is, the worse the nicotine is. Such as Longhorn, Timberwolf, Kayak, um, Red Seal, pretty much all those. Now this is a little bit of an informational video because a lot of people come up to me and say, oh well there's fiberglass and shoot. But there's not. What it is is um, it's the salt. I used to believe that there was fiberglass and shoot, but there's not. Uh, how much of it? Uh, we only have five minutes. Holy shit! Give me one second. I'm going to get my drink from over there. One second. Good old mountain thing. Now, a lot of people think that I'd be bullshitting, but I'm not. When I tell you that there is salt and chew, I'm not lying. Alright, like I was saying, um, the salt, and it regulates the pH levels for the nicotine. Now, like Copenhagen Fine Cut, like Copenhagen Original Fine Cut, those, that one has the highest nicotine level because of the fine cut and whatever. Like, it has like the more of the salt crystals and shit in it, but that's all it is. There's no fiberglass, there's no nothing. It's just salt. Now, I didn't believe this myself when I watched the video. But it's true. It is 100% true. Did my research and I looked it up and it's true. Ah, uh, I gotta take a piss from hell, dude. Like, for real. I would do it right now, just standing here. But I'm on camera. And that would be unethical to piss while I'm on the camera. That would be unethical. But, remember, keep it frickin' hillbilly. Uh, the YouTube Dippers retreat is coming up. For all y'all that, for all y'all that didn't know, sorry I can't stand in one spot. I had to piss so bad. But oh god, I gotta piss so bad. Remember, keep it freaking hell, Billy. Get yourself a mud jug, go to www.mudjug.com, go to keepithillbilly.com, get yourself the Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly merchandise from the Outlaw Dipper. Um, and I'll see you mother truckers later. I gotta piss. So, see you later. Can't find my mouse. There it is. Later, guys.